Yes, my name is Chris, uh, and uh, everybody you know likes to hear stories about uh, the lost and found. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I saw this car on Craigslist uh, for sale, no title. Uh, made an appointment to go see the car, and uh, uh, went to go look at it and asked the gentleman about the title. He's like, yeah, there's no title. So uh, I, I told him, well, yeah, there's a reason why there's no title. So I've got the title for the car right here. Huh. Uh, That's wild. How, <laughs> how, how was that? Well, uh, as it turns out, uh, the car was stolen from me 20 years previously. No way. Yes, sir. Uh, what? That's wild. So I was uh, had a, a few titles laying around, and this the title for this one, uh, picked it up and looked at it, and it's been gone for 20 years, so I tossed it in the trash, and then it bugged me, so I dug it back out of the trash, and two days later, I found this back on Craigslist. So, uh, the exact car, the exact car. I've got pictures of it. 99 when the, uh, <laughs> so it, it was stolen in 99 and you found it and yes. So when did you get it back? Uh, got it back roughly about a year and a half, two years ago. That's crazy. The, uh, as it turns out, uh, I took it and a 56 Buick coupe, uh, on trade for a, uh, Volkswagen Baja bug that I had. Yeah. And, uh, I turned around, I sold the Buick Coupe and took this one to a body shop and uh, tried to contact them a few weeks later and didn't have an answer. So I went over there and not only was the, the car gone, but all the cars were gone. The business was gone. The building was gone. Everything was gone? Everything was gone. It was a, it was a bare gravel lot. What in the world? So uh, I, I found out afterwards that uh, the... Uh, body shop was having plumbing issues so they went to you know get a plumbing company involved and yeah plumbing company found out what was going on went downtown to pull uh permits mm -hmm. only to find the building had never had permits to be built so okay the city of raleigh gave the the building owner mm -hmm. however many days to to remove the building from the property and that was the last time I saw the car. That's crazy. So what what year is this one? This one's a 1947 uh, Plymouth Business Coupe. I mean, I absolutely love the body lines and yes, stuff. they're great. So did you have this on the road running in 99? No, uh, it was running, uh, but I took it uh, to the body shop mm -hmm. and, uh, well, yeah, never saw it again uh, until that. And the problem that I had with the car was the person that I got it from uh, was foreign and mm. signed every line on the back of the title. Yeah. Which made the title relatively useless, other than the fact that I had some form of, of uh, I guess, ownership other than yeah. the title. Yeah. That's crazy. But because the title was not in my name, I could not report the car as stolen. Oh. Well, because he had signed every line on the title. You couldn't do I that. I couldn't get the title it, until it, I got in touch with him, and I I never saw him again. He disappeared. So how know. did you get the title rewritten if you never... Well, as it turns out, uh, I contacted uh, the... Uh, I looked at the front of the title and found the original owner who mm -hmm. still lived at the same address in Wake Forest. Oh, okay. And so I ended up getting a uh, lost title lap, and uh -huh. so got the car back and i've got the title back <laughs> there you go yeah i mean this thing is pretty i, I mean just the body lines and everything it, it, i mean gorgeous lines on the car oh man and you know and i absolutely i, I love to i love the old style of chrome being exposed yep. and yep. i just love that oh man so wow eventually i'll get around to doing something with it you know obviously you know 20 years later you know i'd already written it off and and now that i've got it back i just have to make time and space for it <laughs> for sure yeah but i mean definitely cool wow that's actually a really cool story of, I mean, like 25 years. 20 years, yeah. 20 years, and then. Almost to the day. Almost to the day. Yes. And then you end up getting your car back. I get it back, yes. That's almost like John Wick, but without killing people. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> that is awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that story about this um, Plymouth. Absolutely. That is, wow.